Western, then, I think. Yeah, we be doing the Lord dirty, dirty. <laughs> Not only she comes through, but she's flustered. Yeah. Alright, um. Conflicted? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Laura will be, uh, while looking around, Laura will be vigilant, distracted, or oblivious. What's the which one? Like, <laughs> like, Vigilant would be, like, really good on the lookout. We'll just say it like that. Like, she'll check everything. Alright, and then Jacob. Oh, this guy looks like a jerk. Um, <laughs> he looks like the jock. Um, <laughs> so, uh, clumsy. <laughs> Oh, uh, adept, erratic, clumsy. Sympathetic, inconsistent, or antagonistic. <laughs> uh, composed, conflicted, flustered. What do you think? Inconsistent or antagonistic? Where do you want, or would you want to be sympathetic? I just don't think he looks sympathetic to me. <laughs> I'd probably go antagonistic. He'll be flustered, conflicted, or composed. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I think we go with composed, I guess. If you have any bad ones for the other two. <laughs> Vigilant, um, distracted or oblivious. <laughs> I definitely don't think he'd be like, don't worry, nothing can take me out. <laughs> okay. Decision. Director's chair is really. People make some good choices, though. I'm not gonna lie. Well, damn. <laughs> nah, no, still debating on oblivious or um, distracted. Figured I'd wait to see what you thought when you came back. Abigail, that's my girl right there. <laughs> Ariel went there. you think and for Abigail you want her sympathetic and consistent antagonistic well hey
inconsistent, maybe? You know, um, he looked like he'd be erratic. Um, he looked like he'd be antagonizing people, uh, maybe conflicted and oblivious. What do you think? Ryan? Why does he look so familiar? I've seen a few things, yeah. I just can't remember. Alright, um. I'd probably say erratic for him. What do you think? Sympathetic and consistent. Uh, sympathetic. He looks like a bleeding heart. Um. Maybe composed? What do you think? Yeah, we made an app ago. <laughs> they all just go around a little. They all gonna die. <laughs> uh, okay. And he looks paranoid, so I feel like vigilant. Mm-hmm. What's this girl's name? Okay, that's what I thought I said. I just wasn't a hundred percent. Like in my head at first read as Ava and I'm like, nah, that's more like Emma. <laughs> yeah, definitely Emma. I'm shipping. Um What do you think? Erratic, depth, clumsy. Sympathetic, inconsistent, antagonistic. Inconsistent. Well, in the middle. <laughs> Composed, conflicted, or flustered. Distracted, oblivious, and vigilant. <laughs> oblivious? We'll give her distracted. Oh, yeah. yeah, two, two. Nick. <laughs> I don't know why I said his name like that. <laughs> Nick. Uh, Nick. <laughs> Adept, uh, erratic, clumsy. What do you think?
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now. So this is what Alice. What? He looks like a what? <laughs> <laughs> well, damn. So maybe we go erratic, inconsistent, conflict, vigilant? Or what do you think? <laughs> Kaylin gonna make it out of here. <laughs> Cause she, <laughs> she played that for so long. <laughs> Consistent. I think that fits her, right? What do you think? Yeah. Adept, inconsistent, pose, vigilant, or you think something? All right, Max. <laughs> I forget. Yeah, it's Max. In the game, at least, it's Max. I ain't phrasing that. <laughs> I feel like he'd be clumsy. I feel like he'd be sympathetic. Conflicted or flustered? Which one do you think? Or opposed? Vigilant, distracted, oblivious. Maybe distracted? What do you think? Alright, that's all of them. Are you ready? Yeah, where you can either, what? You either all can decide on decisions together as a group, or you can have to counselor. I feel bad though if someone died like early and they were in counselor, or else maybe we did the counselor, everyone's their own counselor. <laughs> Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, I don't think I do. 
Begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. <laughs> What's up? Nice catch there, hon. I'm not the one who hit the pothole. Well, maybe the pothole hit us. Ever think about that? Wow, that is like Olympic level gold post movie. Thank you. <laughs> Very impressive. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, still totally lost. <sighs> you know what, Max? It's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how will happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Hey, eyes on the road! A bear? What? No, no, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? If it was a person. <laughs> oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. Reminded me of that, um, was it like the witch what is or it? whatever from Left 4 Dead 2? Or Left 4 Dead? I really have this car off. <laughs> How was all like skinny and stuff? No. Nah. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is? Uh, Bro, I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the, the uh, toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I was like 11 witches. Yeah. It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> Snoopy makes me pretend. Why didn't you tell me? Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here.
Nah, fam. <laughs> Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? <laughs> I'm almost done. Oh, yeah, I think so. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. People shouldn't go just don't check go too far, stuff. okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. Those are the rules. <laughs> okay. Luck with the car. We're just watching. We made all, gave them all their own personalities. Now we have to see if they live or die. I feel so bad if we got everyone killed with our director's cut. <laughs> Cold blooded. What the hell? Silas. The you know, I'd be boy. fine as long as. What was Brenda Song's character's name? As long as Yikes. her and. Uh, was it at? Yeah, Abigail. This is too weird. Yeah, I don't know why you going to scope stuff out. You better run for your life. You having all sorts of that stuff looking out my own self. You made her clumsy. Oh my god. I... Oh. Listen, running into that ranch wasn't even clumsy though. Hey, 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 you okay? Whoa. Hey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Talk to me, you alright? Jesus Christ, you're all banged up. No, no. There is something out there. Like, uh, there's noises. Oh, honey, it's everywhere. Okay. Just take a few breaths. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's okay, it's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. No. It's easy to freak yourself out. Listen, Especially Max. Especially if you're hurt. Can we just get out of here, please? Of course, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Yes, there we go. Burn like a kid. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. Are you kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Laura, you're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. Be there. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck! 
Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. <laughs> How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, was well, she bumped her head? Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Oh my goodness, she's a nervous wreck. What did we do? <laughs> well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. Bro, she got shifty eyes. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. They can't call this Kidnap right from there. <laughs> now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. You're not going to make it to Hackett's Quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh... I think we're just going to stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming, and we called ahead. No, ma'am. You're going to head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay. Fine. Yeah. We'll head to the motel. Understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh. I forgot <laughs> to spring for the middle-of-nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost. Completely. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? Uh, for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. Why you need her to get out? <laughs> Okay, so we are right about here, Harbinger Motel I mean, we don't have anything else, is here. so I hope he's Right, gone. okay, and where was Hackett's Quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Still, please. What are you doing? Hold still.
fresh as a daisy. You can return to vehicle, ma'am. <laughs> Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. this guy just sitting there? That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen uh, shots. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the Did you see this? Was that blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> All right. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If think? he yeah, called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick. Like, <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I... 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> he felt different. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max. here. Can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? And you didn't even get permission to be there? I guess there? he doesn't check his voice. Nah. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned? I'll beat yeah. the car. Max. Come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, I did hear there's like a hundred something different endings. Oh yeah, because you have the one where they can all live, they can all die. One of, per, one of each one can die and all the others can survive. Two of each can die um. and all the others can survive and so on and so on. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Several combinations. Hey, you ready to roll? I don't know, you just said tools. 
God, why didn't yeah, you just bring like a ship size check thing? Look, there's someone in there. Um, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so. You sure? Yeah, saw it online. Basement to have you a need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> You've seen the evil dad, right? <laughs> You're on me away. Hello? Are you hurt? Do you exist? <laughs> hey, be careful. <laughs> Bloodied collar just randomly comes dropping down. Max? I mean, I don't know. Would you name your dog Ian, though? That's true. Someone probably would. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but... I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination... Max? Max! <laughs> oh, no. Max! Guess what? Help. I think I'm bleeding a lot. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? He was not playing when he said to go to the hotel instead. He was trying to keep him safe, it sounded like. Either whatever was down there or the dude. <laughs> I 
have no clue. True. But I feel like if they were like guaranteed to die, they wouldn't have had us do the personalities for them. See you later, kids. Yeah, hack its quarry forever. <laughs> I think they said it was like Friday the 13th. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of uh, summer camp? It's like a romance London, apocalypse. Um, yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? No, that's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad oh mood. <laughs> You know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jeez, Clint, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. <laughs> Hi, Emma. Hey! <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. I wonder what's killing the deer. Oh, hey. This is Emma's. I don't know why when he picked up that thing it reminded me of. Yeah. Ah, fuck! Ah, fuck you, you spider fuck! Um. <laughs> Eat it. <laughs> no, I was gonna say when I first saw that thing, I thought of a uh, nose piercing and I was like, that's way too big. <clears throat> yeah. Hey, what do you uh, what do you listen to? Goodness gracious. Good to know. Yeah, I saw someone with like a 10 inch gauge before. When, like not 10 inches, but a uh, really big gauge or whatever for your earrings. Oh, Jesus Christ. And his ear was like sad and super low. I was like, bro. Wow. Hey, hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I got to get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Skill. <sighs> Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. <sighs> Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. This place needs a serious overhaul. Nice. 
so yeah, it says that the it oh. <clears throat> drew inspiration from Sleepaway Jesus. Camp and Friday the Thirteenth. Uh, the Hills Have Eyes, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Deliverance. Is that Evil you, Dylan? Dead and the thing. I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the I rules, so. man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? <laughs> well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! the bags great all by yourself huh yep guess you're gonna have to get used to that oh my god you are so mean <laughs> at least i'm honest oh okay here we go okay you're not telling me the whole truth about you and emma are you son okay i'm gonna need you back all the way out of my business caitlin <laughs> well excuse me for trying to help how is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help aha uh -huh, the plot thickens she took out the trash what no I mm, wait Check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then she took out the trash. Then she washed her hands. Bye bye, Jake. Now she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Yeah, no thanks. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're one sorry motherfucker, ain't ya? Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? <sighs> well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't going to work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> wow. No, oh, but, I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a b stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see... Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. You're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. You're not lying. Trust me, chick's made of her mind. Yeah. 
Sure. Like, <laughs> he just I guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> oh, this looks important. No. I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Pinky promise. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 long. Oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. I have no clue. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. I'm <clears throat> surrounded by freaks. <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <gasps> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Ha <laughs> oh, Ben. Yeah. Back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, <laughs> and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay. Yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. You know why she does look pretty short compared to them. Yep, you were right. Eh, red, yeah. The way that light Hey there, party bear. Status on. report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. The worst feeling has to be missing Fuck outside. me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay. Let's do it. We better not get into trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? He'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. What? All right, let's do this. On three. One. Two. Three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power. A positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy, loose springs.
This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game. <laughs> Let's get you back to Izzy. Why would this place be in the news? Hey! You stop <gasps> that! <sighs> it's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. in that window. Dylan is not going to be happy that the kids was up this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. <laughs> Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, yeah. faking it is just being yourself, but louder. They you should try it sometime. Curious, you never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh. <laughs> Nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? <laughs> she said, I'm not I gonna got miss you, Abby. Email. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be, like, really happy or rock. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? 
Okay. No, I pause it. Is is that smoke? Uh, Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. I mean, we're next you know, we're without you. Well no, the they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm -hmm. told Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All everyone, same. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <sighs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Damn. Thank you. Cool. Dishes are done, boys. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to is actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah, the one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Yes. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Oh yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude. I think it just, it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, 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 I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, deliberate some luggage. Here. Shut up. 
Yeah. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost right stories. About, uh, you Kelly asked. Ghost stories? Yeah, they talked about the ghost the hag of story of the quarry. Hag of oh! Hag of hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Yep. Well, yes, I do. Well, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. <laughs> Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. <laughs> all right, that's enough. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... I'll meet you at the van, okay? So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Oh, hold that he's thought, from, partner. Uh, I have to take this. Ryan guys oh, from yeah. um, okay. the Get Down show on Netflix. Oh, that oh, all the Bright Place movies. Hello. Yeah. Oh, well, damn. Didn't you also watch the all the Bright Place movie? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was you. Speaking of, this is where the reports come in. People pray to hear the sound of burning trees and the pain she feels from the sins of the woman as she still to this day. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Has it ever occurred? Didn't mean to push you out like that. Uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, yeah. since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. I, I fa our family's it, I think small enough as it is. It, well, family it. is important, Ryan. So. Dang it! Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. Yeah, we're texting one of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Totally, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. 
Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They just sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van. Put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. him. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go, for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like... kaput. All right, let me try. What? Dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. <laughs> Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Uh, no. Chill, dude. Come on. Holy shit. Everybody back. Now, now, now. <laughs> Jacob, wait. Shh, shh, wait, wait, wait. I got this. God damn it, I said wait! Oh shit! grabbed a bucket of water. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Uh, yeah? Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is Maybe inside the lodge for tonight. So Lock hard. the doors. No one in, Game no in. one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Uh, 
So, what was that about? He uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um, what? Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, yeah. like he said. 100%. We she could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's I mean, in, obviously. My in, man. Caitlin? But I'm also not staying. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. I'll be trying to convince him. Mr. Hackett seems pretty inside. insistent we stay in the lodge. He, he was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Party. I, I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh my idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. It's gonna be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. Which first one? things first. Nick and Abby. You will get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. face I haven't even seen that movie <laughs> Stranded <laughs> in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw Plus in the plane crash movie? Baby. <laughs> hmm. First course, filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave yeah. an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Well, that. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? 
Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. <laughs> ah, there we go. And Viola. Uh, your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. I like a man who's good with his hands. Yeah, well, they call me Mr. Magic Fingers. <laughs> no, they don't. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. I think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. No. Oh, jackpot. Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Harem Scarum? Who buys this crap? Friends? Oh, yeah. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay, have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh my. <laughs> All right, now where should I hide? Jacob! Emma? Hello? <sighs> Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. That would be her fault if he decks her in the face. <laughs> ah! You're not scared of clowns? What? No, they're... they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean... yeah. <sighs> well... Do you think it's funny... Now, little boy. I, oh, because. You want to join 20 of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that somehow fits us all like it's no big deal? I. I. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. I wonder where this goes.
What you, uh, well, what you done to your foot there, huh? Just shut Everything up. Open. <sighs> done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother load. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder I kept this place locked up. <laughs> he pissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... <clears throat> human rights, or... Whatever. Sure. Yeah. Alright. Now, let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The door will latch otherwise. Oh. Hell yeah. <clears throat> In and out. Job done. Boom! I wanna look around. Go for it. Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay, um... There's tents back at the fire pit, so just... Let's, let's go. You know why? I don't know why Did a bear do this? Run for your life! <laughs> oh, cool. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool! And, a uh, code. Okay. I'm done. So you're, uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay, uh, well I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Hey, very nice. <laughs> what else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Peanut butter, fucking butter pops. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god, they're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No. 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 They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre of food snack. You know what? I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my God, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my God. Right. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. Oh 
ladies first. I guess yep. she does not know what a wheelbarrow is. Which way? I am surprised. Well, damn. Yeah, I think so. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Let me guess. Right now you're listening to one that has eerie music fading. <laughs> And a mysterious demeanor, and a broken syllable, raspy voice, and a mysterious, lonely guy in his mom's basement, getting hard for Area 51 and Bigfoot. I, I sorry, not that you're into that stuff. I didn't mean to. Mm, I mean, whatever. I like it anyway. You know, I'd give it a listen. I mean, I don't care either way. No, Ryan, I'm gonna do this for you. What is the podcast called? Bizarre yet bona fide. <laughs> you're trying not to laugh right now because it kind of sounds like boner, aren't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Unbelievable. <laughs> so, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Whoa, look at this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Oh, no reason. I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. Ooh. Good burn. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. Hello? What? Who is it? Hello? Nah, fam. It's weird, I thought I, thought I heard someone. Mission. Maybe we should Abort. stop touching stuff. Fine. <laughs> hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. Yeah, what I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if what if okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is. If we need it. Your call, man. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not going to touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but <laughs> nothing but that. <laughs> They're using that wrong. Likes going to people's stuff. Oh. Huh. Mr. Snoopy, fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's. Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't...
Uh, Ryan? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade <laughs> Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about I mean, an aspiring you know, cryptozoologist? Like, hey, How maybe he likes camera? the podcast like that you listen to. That sure, weird. yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, yeah. right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff yeah that's what a secret is ryan it, yeah. it's weird it's major league yeah, weird i man. don't disagree with you but it, it's it's gotta be something juicy in here dylan okay. it's it's none of our business and if you really want to know you can ask okay. him tomorrow I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation like at all okay yeah maybe i will all right i i'm leaving the secret layer have fun hey you just admitted that it's a secret layer Okay, these are boring. Huh. Both of these. Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. I would not expect it to. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Let's go this way. Oh, yeah, okay. Ah! <gasps> oh. oh my god, are you okay? I'll be okay. No, you're okay. Come on, I'll spot you. <laughs> you hate to see it. So where does the stream actually go? The lake. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> I think it's a ranger box. Oh. Huh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. <laughs> so.
so um, I heard this joke about artists. It's pretty bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Hmm, why not? Because he always finished in one stroke. It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me about it. <laughs> Isn't that wow. about golfers? Because of the stroke thing? Yeah, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. Those kids have filthy minds. <laughs> Whoa. Just a bird. Just a bird. Oh, I'm so sorry. I've just been on a little... Just been a little edgy lately. Hey, don't worry about it. It's just the forest playing tricks on you. I used to go camping all the time with my dad, and you think you hear and see some pretty weird stuff, but... You just realize it's nature doing its thing. Did you just say thing? No, that's the forest up to its old tricks again. <laughs> I've never been camping. It's pretty nice if you open yourself up to it. So you have to be open-minded to enjoy camping? No, I just mean there's a lot of stuff you have to overlook. Like basic comfort. You really just have to try it. I could take you some time. If you want. Um, maybe. Let's just make it through tonight first. Yeah. Is that a camera? Yeah. Maybe it's for the wildlife? Yeah. Trail cam. Makes sense. I think we're back near the path again. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Huh? I think her art's gonna look good or bad. Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh, look! It's so tiny. <laughs> My god, he's so cute. Oh, hold on. Oh, I've been 
slime! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> that thing almost killed me. Guess we should head back. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey Caitlin, guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check. Kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh... What's going on here? Everything ready? Uh, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right, guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Special delivery! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. <laughs> Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. 
Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Well, come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. Ain't nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you're actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Fun. How was your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? I wanna know what she wants. Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Well, speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> Okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. Unlucky, dude. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Nick, bro. Come on. Oh, man. I guess you don't want those butter pops after all. Uh, it's okay, dude. It's not like it's an obvious metaphor for your sexual competence or anything. It is. <sighs> all right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. God. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jaggy? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter. Okay, I get it. I get it. I just went loaded gun at both of them. Blam. We thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops.
What do you think of that? Shooting on him, bang. <laughs> Thanks. Probably. Maybe she'll force them to split it. <laughs> Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style? Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... <laughs> well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house steals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I, uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man, that's too far. Come on, I, I'm not finished. Um, have you ever slept with anyone? at this camp. <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... Oh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... Uh, I don't know. Ugh, ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> and I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Who do you think you're gonna kiss? Dylan. Let's go. Just <laughs> 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 Dylan. Always happy to please. Woo! Shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. So, you and Jacob go way back, right? Like, since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh... Get down to business together. When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo. Damn. Still love you, bud. <laughs> Woo! Okay. My turn. <sighs> Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob or oh. Nick. Uh. 
Well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. What? M? <laughs> Seriously? Drama. Unnecessary drama. Yep. Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. Literally unnecessary job. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Bargeezy? What? What is that? Are you cheesy? Mm. Uh, fuck this. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Oh, great. Where the hell am I? How many of these things are there? Uh oh. You? Yeah. yeah. It's me. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. So, all that stuff back there... Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? <laughs> right. I don't think Emma was the mastermind here. <laughs> then who? Well, Caitlin. All of them, I guess, but mostly Caitlin. 
She's sneaky. Huh. Truth or dare is a stupid game, right? Totally stupid. We're not 12. Who cares what anyone does? Or did? Right. Right. Besides, you never really get to kiss the person you want in these dumb games anyway, you know? You remember the second or third day of camp, when we were assigned to take our cabins down to the island ropes course together? Yeah, that was when we met. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember that camper? That, uh, a little accident on the course? <laughs> he was so embarrassed. Thought his life was over. I had to take him to get cleaned up before anyone noticed. Well, except you, I guess. Thanks for not telling anyone. That wasn't actually the first time we met. We met at orientation on the first day. We did? Yeah, there was like a million people. <laughs> um, but honestly, you kind of seem like a dick. I said hi and you barely acknowledged me. Shit, I'm sorry. I've seen most counselors make fun of their campers. Tease them a little. Jacob does it. Emma kind of does it too. But you don't. I've had my moments. What I'm proud of some of the stuff I've done. Here? That'll be Jacob's influence. Yeah, I tend to just fall in line when he's around. You're not Jacob. Don't try to be Jacob. Who wants to be Jacob? Girls are into Jacob. Not the cool ones. Who are the cool ones into then? Guys who are cool enough to help a camper out of a sticky situation. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> you know that kid I helped ended up going home? Oh, no, I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, the campus wouldn't stop making fun of him pouring school. orange juice into a cereal. Uh, yeah, ew. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. <laughs> What's she doing? You in the middle of the woods in the middle of the night and you hear growling?
by it in the bad. I mean, everything I know combined, I'm assuming it's where I want to it there. It's a fun game. Yeah, but the Wendigo look like a human freak, too. Inspiration, they said one of the things was American Werewolf or whatever. <laughs> it's definitely. But I thought the same thing about the window. He's an emotional wreck. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yes, you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> You, you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. Definitely make it worse. You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. Hey, that's mine. Yeah, well, finders keepers. I'm getting it back tomorrow. Nothing is fine. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, come on! Or... You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well... We agreed. Some are fun, right? Uh. Apparently... Summer is not... Quite... We'll see about that. Huh. It's not long ago. Wonder if it was near here. Check it and check it. Huh. Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thackett? 
Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Hmm. What are these numbers? Exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Just get back down here, Jacob. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or you, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. <gasps> oh, but I can because you see, oh, help! Help, I'm, I'm drowning and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> yeah, well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. Hell, man. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, switch. Oh, stop being uh happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little pruny. Oh, you know what I mean, like, like this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be the summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where you going? Come on! Huh? Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream! And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream! I can't hear you! Okay, look, just... Just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. But if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, 
I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Where's Nick? Yeah, come on, let's get back to the fire. Uh, Y'all need to run, run, run. Girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> run, fam, run. See, there's a full moon in the background and everything. Definitely wear one. No! You're not lying, this does not look anything like that. Ah! Ah, what? Ah!
Who the fuck are you? Fuck you, you fucking asshole! Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? I hope not. Son of a bitch! Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just. Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? You know that is a good point. Someone shot that thing, and just uh, <laughs> let homeboy oh. Ryan go in by himself still. <sighs> Nick, hey, buddy, can you tell us what happened? I don't know, attacked. Where's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Jack, Jack, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth run on top of me. I think she was a bear. Full size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears around here. No, uh, Oh fuck! Look at that! Oh fuck. shit! That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's and it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Uh, 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 oh. Ew, dude, that's gross. Uh. Ryan, we should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What do you think? Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What? What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Yeah, I agree. I'd cut the leg off. I remember much. I mean, I don't even know what I saw. Holy shit. Fuck. Hey! You got a gun! And I know how to use it! Sort of. Give it back to Brenda. Brian, what if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. Why don't you give it back to the best person at the shop? It was probably nothing. Yeah. But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right, so, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Don't 
Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I'm here to save you. Holy shit. Nick. Is he okay? Nick and Abby were attacked. In the woods. Hey, does anybody have any dry clothes? I'm, I'm fucking freezing. All our bags are still in the minivan. Oh, fuck, of course they are. So wait, what happened to you? Right, right, okay, so. Like I was saying, okay? I heard Abby screaming, so I came running. Like as fast as I could. From the lake? Yeah, and then, and then out of nowhere, I stepped into this like... I don't know, like a, like a booby trap? Like some sort of hunter's trap? The goddamn thing snared my leg, hoisted me halfway into the tree, just zoop! So I'm hanging there, half naked, and then this guy with like a fucking machete comes right up to me, looks me right in the fucking eyes. But I taught that guy a lesson, booked it right the fuck out of there. We gotta get Nick and Abby back to the lodge, like right now. Uh, hard agree. Also, why are you covered in what I hope is strawberry jelly? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's go. blood. It was this guy with like, um, he had like a bottle thing. I don't know, dude, it's like a really long story. Ew. Yeah, no, it's super fucked up. I gotta go get Emma. Uh, excuse me? Hey, I need this, okay? It's not safe out there. Dude, we gotta protect Nick and Abby. Yeah, and I need to save Emma, all right? She's out there alone. You don't even know if she's in trouble. You don't even know if you're in trouble. Are you trying to piss me off? No, I'm trying to save my girlfriend's life, asshole. Yeah, I don't think she's your girlfriend, dude. What? Get! You do not <laughs> fight. <laughs> real mess here, guys. You're acting like pricks. Both of you. Yeah. Jacob, we're keeping this. Nick and Abby are injured. We need protection. There's someone around here. <laughs> Ryan! Sorry. This is bullshit! Make sure she's safe. If she's on the island, she's definitely fine. I'd say... Wait, what and what? Risk another uh, run-in with Captain Deliverance? No thanks, okay? There's probably another boat by the zipline. Either way, I can make it to the island from there. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, you're pretty close to the lodge. You need to get back to the lodge. Already, Try to get help. You know, like, How? Nick can't walk properly. I'd try and get, have him yeah, help have an get idea. Nick to the lodge, and then we'd all go, or two, at least two of us would go together with the shotgun. There was the second shotgun in the building also, I forgot, in the lodge. Okay, let's see what tonight brings. Okay. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs oh, no. and is suddenly riding solo a on a freaky camera. island in the dark? This fool. Well, I feel one like thumb. in any horror one movie, whenever you see a phone come out thumb. and they're doing like the selfie camera thing or whatever, and it shows you the fraction. And it was here yeah. on a strange, Something uninhabited island that this brave young soul found herself. Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing. Not that I want to go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't. Because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Well, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> so this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water. Kind of like an airbed. But... I'm older and wiser now, and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer right, fling, right. and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man-child <laughs> who's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why 
Why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative, by mean of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, nah, the choice is up to me. In the blurry side on the right. Okay, <laughs> moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's, that's no true. accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Oh, that's right. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. Three, five and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this damn so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick. But it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, <laughs> I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Told Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish time. was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. Uh. Look, car keys. Police car keys. I think this might be one of those, I'm sorry, officer, I have no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming tree house. In another world, perhaps yeah. young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? Dog. I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. <laughs> She's about to give me a heart attack. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp Why experience have, have right, there. And, right there. Oh look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff or maybe one of the guys back there. But I don't recognize this. Can I pause it? Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Let me know. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door? <laughs> true, true, true. You got a point. That was the bad news. Alright. She won't be her and be real fast. What do y'all think? 
So, is she a bad friend for kissing? Um, that girl's girl she knew liked uh, Crush. Is she a bad friend for kissing? I say so. I mean, like, you knew they liked each other and yet you still decide to do that. Like, out of all the ways to try and get them to, you know, confess their true feelings to each other, I feel like that was not the way. Ready? Or and die a horrible, painful death. There are literally no right answers. Bro, I can deal with jump scare. I'm not gonna die. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling, and there's no time for an encore. <laughs> you work tomorrow? Easy. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Oh, kind of Come on. Come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's yeah, office? We can call it yep. here and we'll finish tomorrow. We'll come meet you. Yeah. I think it's saved, right? <clears throat> what?
Nope, it says it's auto saves, but I don't know if it's every time there's like one of those little loading screens or if it's every time the new episode starts.